Hello everyone, today we're going to be learning a little bit about the inset tool, material tool, and bevel tools. Here I have a simple little box, and we're just going to create a really easy hole in this box. So make it kind of like a hollow box. It's not a room, so it has no inside right now, but we can fix that pretty easily. So we're going to go over to this UModeler script here, attached to all UModeler objects by default, and we're going to go down to the add section and we're going to hit inset. So then we're going to go and select the polygon that we want to inset. So we want the top and then you can just kind of click and drag and then a little blue outline will go onto the box where the inset will be created. So I, I think about here will be good. So then I just let go of my left click hit space to confirm and now a little inset is created so we can use our push pull tool shift e and push that in that looks pretty good to me so now we have a little box that has a hole in it so a nice little hollow box our player could fall into there we can make a little trap if we wanted to now we are going to add some materials to this box. In order to do that, we go to our UModeler script here, and then we go down to the surface section, hit material, and then the material properties tab will open up. And you can see that there is already one material, which is the checkered pattern right here that is default with UModeler. I have Surforge installed right now, so I'm going to have a lot of materials that you guys won't have available to you that are not default with UModeler. By default, UModeler only comes with a few materials. Most of them are very simple. So if you see me apply a material that is not a part of UModeler's very simple material, library it is from Surforge just so you know that so in order to add a second material all you got to do is hit add slot and then go and hit the little circle right next to it and we can find a material that will look all right most materials in Surforge are best used with Surforge but this is just for demonstration we don't need anything to look really really good or anything I'm gonna select that and then all we got to do, it's actually really super easy to apply materials now in the latest version of UModeler. All you got to do is select the faces that you want the material to have. And then you can see right here on the material we added, there will be an Alt and a number key. And all you got to do is press that. So Alt 2. And then, ta-da, now our box has that material. And of course, we could just hit Alt 1, which is the other material, and put that face back. So yeah, applying materials to a UModeler object is pretty easy. I'm going to apply it all back though, because personally, I don't think it looks that good. We'll do a tutorial on how to use Surforge more in depth a little later, that's why I have it installed. So what I'll do here is I'll just apply a UModeler texture to the inside. So I like UModeler white, so I'm going to select that and make that our default alt 2. And you can use these shortcuts without even being in the material menu. So if you want to apply a material, it's really, really easy. You don't have to even be in the material window. Just select the polygons that you want to apply the material to and hit Alt and then the number key that the material is associated with. All right, so I think that's pretty much it for the material tool. And now we're going to cover the bevel tool. So bevel is actually really nice. What it is is it allows you to kind of round corners. So let's just say we want our box to have rounder corners on the inside. So what we can do is we can go to our edge selection tool and select these edges here. And then just go over to the bevel tool on the UModeler script. It'll be under add, hit bevel, and then the property menu will pop up. And in here you have a couple of options. So you'll see width, segments, profile, and clamp overlap. So what you want to do is you want to tick clamp overlap right away because if this isn't ticked, then you can have some overlapping polygons. And I have personally have never seen a situation where overlapped polygons look good. So you probably want to turn that off. Then we can just select our width here. The segments section will kind of 
choose how rounded you want it to be. This will also add a lot more vertices, so you should be careful with the number that you choose here. And just like that, by adjusting a couple of values in the width and segment sections, I have a much nicer little inside dual box. It kind of progressively dips in instead of going straight down like before. So that's how to use the material tool, the bevel tool, as well as the inset tool. And if you have any suggestions for a tutorial, if you really want to see a feature be covered, or maybe if a setting doesn't fully make sense to you and you want that explained, just leave it in the comments. We frequently check the comments of the videos to make sure that the tutorials are more to your liking, and we will try to make as many of these tutorials as we can. So yeah, I hope you, hope you enjoyed this tutorial.